Hey everybody, this is uh, Paul with Ammerman Lawns. Lawn landscaping. Uh, how I changed as a YouTuber. Uh, or how you changed as a YouTuber. Or how I can change as a YouTuber. But no, anyway, I was just going to talk about what YouTube's done. What I've been doing with it. I've been putting uh, videos on there for about two and a half, three years now. Forget going on three, I think, years. Ah, oh, this lighting's all jacked up. See if I can get it better. Now let's get a little closer. I'll turn around here. How's that? That's not bad. Anyway, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, how YouTube has helped me as the way, uh, when I started YouTube, I was using it for confidence builder on learning how to speak to people, my new customers and stuff, which it has helped me on that. And uh, I'm still not used to the camera. I'm a little bit camera shy. I know if y'all could tell, but I'm pretty camera shy. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> when I started YouTube, I had a full-time job. And then I started my lawn landscape part-time and I had my other job. And it worked out pretty good because I mostly worked over on the I mostly worked night shift on that other job, like graveyard shift. And then I'd do this here for a little bit during the day, but most of the time it was on the Friday and on the weekends, you know. And then this got to grew quite a bit, so uh, I could go full time in that and I uh, got rid of my other job which was a pretty dang good job. It was a union job with driving a truck and working for a really good uh, excavating company. But y'all had no complaints about all that. It was a good job. Uh, actually made a lot more money there than I do where I'm at, what I'm doing now, but I'm trying to grow this business and I ain't gonna give up on it yet. But I'm never gonna, I, I don't know. I, hopefully I don't have to give up on it. If it gives up on me, that's a different story. But I'm going to try to keep it going and keep it growing. And hopefully someday, maybe I can do a little, maybe I can help somebody else out by giving them a job. So anyway, uh, and what I'm changing a little bit this year is I'm going, instead of wearing a regular t-shirt like I got on here, these shirts are good for, I'm wearing my older t-shirts when I'm working in the shop. And I don't want to, I don't care about getting them greasy, but I bought me some nicer shirts with a collar on them. And it's got like three buttons. They're the brand of them's, uh, gravel gear. I got them at, oh, what's the name of that tool store? I got them up at, uh, I never can remember the name of that tool store. It's called, uh, it's not Harbor Freight. I buy a lot of stuff from there too. It's not Cummins. Northern. Northern Tool. I bought them from Northern Tool. They're pretty nice shirts and they're pretty good and they're all cotton. And what I like about them is, uh, I, I know some people might like looking at my plumber's crack, but I'm going to start covering it up a little bit better. <laughs> These got a longer back on them. And, uh, and they got a pocket and a collar and the three buttons. They're pretty nice. I, you know, I gotta admit, I look pretty dang good when I'm wearing them. And then I'm gonna try to keep shaved a little bit. I need to shave again. I'm just, I hate shaving. It's one of the worst things there is to do. You know, I just don't like to shave. But, uh, so I don't, I don't really use a razor. I just use a uh, barber clippers and I shave the closest that I get. And then I have to do it about once a week. I only I let a little bit of whiskers come back, go run around the with the two or three day shadow. But uh, anyway, let's see what else am I doing? Uh, I'm getting ready to paint all my trailers. I'll have a, a painting video coming up, and I may paint one of my trucks. I think I'm gonna paint my blue truck that I drive because it's got some rust on. It. I need to fix do a little body work. It's just gonna be a past job. I'm not gonna do it. It's not gonna be professional by no means. I mean, I'm just gonna get it to where it looks better. You know, patched up job, painted the same color as the truck looks better than a big rust hole. 
And I hit a tree with it the other day. I was pulling on it and it slid sideways a little bit on me and smacked a tree and put a nice dent in the bed. But I might try to pull it out a little bit. Not too worried about it. The truck's probably only got a year or two left on it for my company because it's getting quite a few miles. Probably this summer. Probably we'll see how it runs after this summer. But I'm not going to sink a bunch of money into it. But a lot of times though, it's cheaper to repair than to buy another newer truck. But I'll never buy a new truck because that's just for uh, the way I've learned myself and everything that uh, I'm not buying a new truck unless I got like $500,000 in the bank or something extra, which I don't know if that'll ever happen. But I mean, if you can't pay for it with cash, you don't need to buy it. What do I look at it? Uh... Let's see, get off the subject about money, but let's see, what else am I changing up? I'm trying to run my mowers that I had last year going, but they're getting quite a few hours on them. I don't know if I'll make it through the season. May have to buy one in the middle of the season or something, but I hope not. I'm going to try to keep them going. I don't have quite as many yards as I had last year, I don't think. I know I don't have quite as many, so there's a little bit of room on my schedule for lawns. If you know anybody needing their yard mode and you live, you know, within uh, 10 miles of Bacuyer, 10 or 12 miles from Bacuyer, you know, I don't like going much over past that, but yeah, I live in Bacuyer, Missouri. That's where I live. That's right. There you go. I don't know if I ever put that out there or not, but it's out there now. Uh... <laughs> We don't have a whole lot in this town, but what we got is pretty good. We do have two Casey's. So there's plenty of pizza. Plenty of pizza. And in the middle of them, I think there's still a Pizza Hut delivery in this town. But anyway, I don't care about all that. And, uh, I'm on a diet trying to lose weight. Oh, yeah. I'm going to tell you all about my weight journey I'm on. I started a weight journey on Facebook. Ammerman, Paul Ammerman. If you look up Paul Ammerman, I think anybody can look at my videos, but I don't know. I'm wondering if you guys want me to make a YouTube channel, a new one about losing my weight, or just put some on here maybe every now and then. I may make a, I started out weighing 252 pounds. I lost a little bit last week. I was down my last, I weigh in on Mondays. So a couple, three days now, I'll be weighing in again. But last week I weighed... 249 and a half. That's what I'll do. I'll just go uh, once in a while, I'll put a video on maybe every three weeks or something, or once a month, I'll do a weight thing for my YouTube. I'll just make a short little video for that. That's how I can, one way I can change well, how YouTube changed me. I'm going to lose some weight. What happened, see, I got down to about 220 through the summer last year. And then I slack off on my work because it's winter time and I put on some weight. But this next winter, I'm going to maybe join uh, or just buy a little bit of exercise equipment and a little bit more. But I don't really need exercise equipment to work out. You could do it by just lifting yourself, you know. I mean, you know what I mean? Like uh, exercise, calisthenics. I'll probably do more of that kind of stuff and say, try to stay limbered up. But anyway, uh, and then YouTube's helped me get a little more confident and I'm, I feel a little bit more confident than I used to. Uh, hopefully this video don't scare none of my new customers off. I do a little bit crazy video every now and then. So this is just winging it, no editing, not very good lighting and yeah. What the heck is that? I heard something outside. We'll have to go outside and check stuff out. Let's look out the window. I heard something out there. I don't know what it was. What's going on out here? Oh, there's some guys over there in those trucks. You see them? That guy's got a bunch of exercise equipment over there. 
I'm not scared of them too bad. But anyway, <laughs> I don't know if you can see any of that. But anyhow, I'm going to cut this off. You can like, share, and subscribe, please, to my videos. Well, it's up to you. But if you want to see some more of my stuff, just uh, subscribe to my videos. And uh, we'll have a good day. It's been raining here. It's soggy and wet. So I'm probably going to go buy some parts for my 72-inch Dixon. And I've got a few pulleys and stuff to put on there. I'll make a video about that later. We'll talk to y'all later. Have a good one.